Hey everybody, if you clicked on this video, you're wanting to learn how to make your own template for your Starbucks cup. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that here in Design Studio with Cricut software. The thing is, Cricut software in design doesn't really allow you to do a lot on your own. So over the years, people have found little hacks here and there. If you know the program, you can kind of know what some tools do and what some tools don't do. So today I figured out a way to take one of our artworks from our artwork pack and kind of make that my own so it fits on a Starbucks cup. Now this pack that I'm taking the artwork from wasn't made for a Starbucks cup so there's some things I'm going to be having to do and I'm not really sure if this will apply for what you need but hopefully you learn some tricks to kind of let you do a little bit more in design. All right so just to get started I went ahead and I chose our fall sign pack which is one of the new packs we released and you can find that on our website if you go under our featured and new release mini packs you're going to find that here and they're all really cute now I know that it says it's for signs but of course you can use it for really anything um, you can use it for a t-shirt a bag even a card that you want to give to your family or maybe a sign that's going on your table for Thanksgiving possibilities are really endless but I know Starbucks cups are really big and I really like making them so I'm gonna challenge myself and see if I can take this and make it in design space the one I chose is let's get cozy so I'm gonna open up my Cricut design you can see that it showed up down here it's quite big so what I like to do is I just like to make it about 10 inches so I can see everything all at once if you want you can zoom out as well and that you're able to see your cup template and your let's get cozy design so you can see this is all grouped together right now and over here to the right you can see the layers which it's just divided in three you have the orange the red and the green i can ungroup that and make them individual but you can see here that i still have my leaves over here you know some leaves over here with the red off to the left and my cozy with the leaf up here to the top that's not where i want everything placed as you can see here if i put that over the cup template it just it's not gonna work and I don't really want it covering up the Starbucks logo so first thing I'm doing is I'm taking this cozy and I'm seeing where I want it placed on my cup and I can see here that the leaf design is kind of in the way of that logo so I can't ungroup these these are together there's really nothing I can do about it I can't ungroup it's just stuck so I figured out a way, if you take your cozy and come over here, you're going to grab your shape tool. I'll just grab a circle and I'll place it over this leaf. And I wanna make sure that it's completely covered. While having my circle selected, I shift click my cozy. So that way I have both those objects selected and I'm gonna click slice. What this is gonna do is it's gonna create three layers now. So I can go ahead and click on the circle. You can see it cut it out, I'll delete. And then where that cutout is, it laid right over the top of that leaf. See? And what it also did, which is what I wanted, it removed that from the cozy. It sliced it out of there. Which, cool, right? So now I've broken up this cozy and I can put this back over here and I don't have that leaf going into my Starbucks logo. So I'm gonna be doing the same method for the other parts of the design, kind of setting up board to see where I'd like everything and then kind of just taking my shapes and slicing as I go. So the next one I wanna do is let's, and you can see that the beanie here and the leaf are attached to it. I know that I want all three of those separate. So I'll just go over here and take my shapes. So you'll take this, shift click let's, you'll slice. Didn't do anything to that beanie which is good, I didn't want it to yet. So we'll get rid of the circle and we'll pull those apart. I'm kind of keeping my leaves over here cause I'm definitely gonna use them later. So I wanna click my hat, my shift click circle and slice. Now you see that I did have the circle beneath the artwork, which it still did the same effect. I got the two and I got it separated. I don't need to, so I can delete that one. And I'll kind of keep him over here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move the let's. I think that looks pretty nice. But you know, I'm always moving stuff around. I'll probably move it around a little bit later. 
Now I want to put the get. So this one's a little bit bigger and has a little more leaves. Same method. I'll go over to my shapes. Shift click get slice, delete the circle, put my leaves over here. And it's kind of nice because I'm getting these extra leaves, which I will definitely use. And I want to put get, mm, let's see, this guy's a little, it's kind of harder because unfortunately, like I can't really change the shape too much of like the way that the get font is going. So I'm just going to kind of have to move and manipulate things a little bit. I might put it down here with let's get cozy or get cozy. I'm not sure yet. I do know that I can see here. I don't want this guy here anymore. I want to take him out. So, and probably this guy. So I'm going to take him out. This one's a little harder. You obviously don't want the circle going into the G. So what you'll undo is if you go over here to the left, you'll see a little lock button. You'll click that guy. And what that'll do is it'll unlock the shape. So you can kind of manipulate it however you'd like. I think more of an oval is going to work for this part. So perfect. And I'll shift click slice get this guy and oop, this guy over here and I think I'm gonna do that for the other ones too oh and I forgot about my beanie guy I do want to put him on here See, I'm always just moving stuff around <laughs> to see if it works because I might want to have it all down here. Let's see. Let's see if that works a little bit better for me. All right, so I do have my leaves over here that I'm gonna start placing around to kind of do a little bit of the filling of the cup so it's not so empty looking on the sides. They are all different colors. Unfortunately, I can't really change it all at once, so I'll just kind of click it as I go. I wanna keep the red. I like the red, I like the orange, and I like the green. So I wanna change these leaves to green. You can see here that they are gray. And this color was from our designer. So it's not a color that I have in design space, but it's pretty smart. So if you click on this little patch up here of color, you can see that it has the material color is already up here for you. So that way it'll recognize the same color and cut in the same cutting mat. I want to flip this little leaf so they're not all the same size. Bring all these guys over here. One thing I'm seeing now that I zoom in closer before I put the leaves about in this template is I do see that the hat is overlapping on the logo, which is totally fine. That's not a problem. I have the let's over here doing that, but I don't really, I kind of don't want that to happen. So I will grab a circle here, kind of match up with the yellow circle that I have going over here. And then I will shift click and I will slice. I will get rid of the circle get rid of this and get rid of that and boom now I have the hat going over the circle so that's just another example of how to use the slice tool if you have a certain shape that you kind of want to just form the design to Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I could do a little bit more, but I just wanna go ahead and get this through to the cutter. 
Um, the hat though here, I do want to make that a green. So I want to weld all my colors together. I'm going to select the green hat, my green leaf, shift click for my hat, shift click for the other leaf, and just kind of find the colors that match up. Shift click, shift click, shift click. Again, the shift click ensures that you are selecting all the objects at once. So once I have those all selected, I'll go down and click weld. And I'm going to do the same for the red. So now that I have welded all three of those colors together, I should ultimately at the end have four layers. So it looks like I'm ready to go ahead and make it. And you can see here that everything has been arranged according to colors and you are ready to go ahead and send this through to your cutter and you'll go ahead and place this on your Starbucks cup. If you guys have any questions about how I did this, please go ahead and comment below or call our call center. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and comment below. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and catch our lives every Monday. You guys are so awesome. Thanks for watching. Good luck and have fun crafting.